I that got it. This one comes, there's numerous sources where you guys can find this. I decided to take the path of least resistance and go to Bounding into Comics. I did a video about this probably five or six months ago talking about Ridley Scott producing an Alien series for the small screen. Now still, there hasn't been a lot of information released on this. What I find troubling is, of course, they're showing Alien Resurrection, which to me is a movie that does not exist. Uh, so I don't know why it's up here, but <laughs> according to Deadline, the Xenomorph is back mm. and this is going to be, here's the word, based on the Alien franchise is set to start filming next year. The show's creator, Noah Hawley, had delivered all his scripts for a season order, and the project has a chance of debuting in 2023, not long after filming wraps, so probably in the fall. So here's the trick. This Alien TV series is said to blend the first film's horror tropes with the action of James Cameron's sequel, Aliens. However, it will not feature Sigourney Weaver, or her character Ripley in any fashion since it takes place <laughs> before the actual Alien and Aliens movies happened. Where have we seen this before? The opportunity to reimagine the prequels or the universe before we had what to me is probably the strongest female character in science fiction in my opinion stronger than princess leia in some ways that would be ripley of course from alien what do you guys think about this do we think they're going to turn it into some woke bizarre hell or do you think that somebody is going to actually make something <laughs> that's an adaptation that's not going to feature sexuality and 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 gender and identity politics and comp you know all that stuff no because it's 2022 and we can't have nice things anymore i'd like to say yes because cameron is attached to it but he seems to be pretty lax with what has gone on within the aliens uh, universe so he doesn't really seem to care what they do with it anymore no no he's too busy making 18 avatar movies nobody's gonna go oh see. god yeah <laughs> oh yeah mm. and we, we know imagine? they're gonna have to do there'll be a redemption arc for the for the xenomorphs now for sure there has to be well they're just misunderstood Zax. <laughs> you know the real question is is alien covenant and alien whatever that other one that that those those two movies that were horrible we don't with the engineers are yeah. those going to be canon those going to be canon and I'm starting to think, yes, they are. See, so, that, that's my question is like, is this film going to be in between the events of like Prometheus and Alien? It has to be. Like, is there it has some, to be. Yeah. You know, either that or they're just going to reinvent or something or <sighs> I can make jokes about this stuff anymore because whatever stupid thing I come up with, they're going to make something just that much stupider. Like something that I couldn't even make a joke about, and they're gonna they're gonna put eighty million dollars in it, and if we don't like it, they're mm -hmm. gonna call us mis racists and misogynists. Yeah, they've probably already got the articles pre-written, ready to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is a story you can only tell so many different ways, and it's been told all the ways that it should be told. Let it go. Tell yeah. a different story. Of course, this is attached to Disney. It's going to be shown on Hulu. Disney said this was actually going to be different than what it was. It caused some confusion, so they had to talk about it. I know it'll shock you, but Disney got something wrong. Uh, as for putting the aliens on Earth, he said, quote, it would be interesting to open it up a little bit so th that the stakes of what happens if you can't control it are more immediate. So if it's going to be set before the events of Ripley, apparently they're just going to throw away what was done in the 70s and 80s for the show. The the prequels are always interesting because it, you know, like like they're doing with um, the Rings of Power is like they can technically change so much of character motivations and stuff because, you know, and then how you see the film later, you're always constantly thinking about the prequel, like and how they got from this point point to this point or whatever um which a lot of people i mean like 
I don't know. It, it's just, it really hurts the brand, I think. Um, if anything, I think they could do... There's a great story in Marvel Comics by Philip Kennedy Johnson that he did an Alien series. And what yes. it is, is it's a um, uh, a man who... He worked for Waylon yutani worked for them for like 20 years, got out, uh, and then his son is like this activist piece of crap little kid and him and his activist friends go up into a Whalen yutani shuttle to go like break all their stuff and like break all the oh. blah 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 on a thing and they get trapped up there with a face hugger and the face hugger starts taking control of all the you know all the crap little turd friends and the, then the father has to go save the son but they have to call him back into action and he's like I told you I'm, I'm I'm out of the game. You guys had me for 20 years. I'm out. And they were like, we need you back. You're the best in the game, right? right? And and then they're like, and it's your son. Dun, dun, dun. So then he has to go up there with the face hugger, with an alien in the hole, and he has to save his son while all these, you know, turd activist friends are being eaten. Uh, it was a really cool comic. I actually really enjoyed it. So um, That does sound good. Sorry to sorry to blather but that would be no it's funny you say that because it allowed me to scroll down into the article <laughs> oh no <laughs> remember that turd activist that you talked about <laughs> yes <laughs> showrunner showrunner noah hawley claims the upcoming aliens tv series is quote a story about inequality Oh Showrunner Holly added that his story is about inequality between blue collar space truckers and middle management. <laughs> oh my god! Quote, they're like Samuel Beckett characters ordered to go to a place by a faceless, nameless corporation. So it is the story of the people you send to do that do dirty work. Unquote. He disclosed that in his series, now we, this is, this is alien. This is an alien property with xenomorphs. He said, viewers are, quote, going to see the people who are sending them. So you will see what happens when the inequality we're struggling with now isn't resolved. Unquote. 2022 people just <laughs> can't get away from it. <laughs> Orange man bad in space, space, space. <laughs> they have one idea, and it's a bad idea, <laughs> and they just keep doing it. They're gonna do it anyway, damn it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> We have got to see it in Middle Earth. We got to see it in Alien. We got to see it in Predator. We got to see it in Doctor Who, in Star Trek, Star Wars, Doctor Who, Terminator, Charlie's Angels. Uh, Christ, I I'm probably forgetting stuff. Now it's going to be in Aliens. Magic 8 Ball. How's that going to go? <laughs> Outlook is not good. Outlook is not good, guys. 